Hello, Floss Tube. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. Welcome to the Solvac Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross stitch. One stitch at a time. Today is Monday, September 16th. It's Monday. Hopefully, you all had a good week last week. Uh, I had a busy week. Because Needle Art Show was on the weekend. So, Thursday was entry day, Friday was judging day. I didn't go Saturday because I was there Sunday too for cleanup. To be on the show again. Record cleanup time, thankfully. Yeah. We did pretty good, actually. Yes. Well, it wasn't a mosh pit of people. That's that's kind of how I felt with setup. I mean, it went quickly because there weren't too many hands in the cookie jar. That has been a problem the last couple of years. But it is what it is. And it ain't what it is. I was trying to type up the uh, funeral workers list for Ladies Guild meeting tonight. The cat was helping. I'm sure I spelled somebody's name wrong because of it. <laughs> the cat helped. That's basically what they're going to get told. If you look at the list, your name is wrong. It's cat's fault. He was helping. Is what it is. How was your week? <sighs> Busy. Busy. Not as busy as yours, but still busy. Busy, busy, busy. We finally get back to playing our uh, D and D game on fa oh, for Fudge's thing. That's good because scheduling conflicts with D and D is a royal pain in the backside. It sure is. It's kind of like most things. Scheduling conflicts suck. <sighs> well, would you like to shout out our commenters? Okay, so Teresa Lynn. Ms. Scarlet Dragon? Yes. She commented about backstitching. And sometimes backstitching doesn't, uh... And then... It's a pain in the ass. That's it. Okay. Um, I can see that be... prompt actually being somebody's screen name. Okay. <laughs> um, it's true. She, com uh, she commented about... Backstitching. One thing I have picked up from another floss tuber, Forest City Stitcher. She, when she first started stitching, okay, so she says this in a video a while back. She said when she first started stitching, she didn't know that you were supposed to do backstitch in one strand and not two. So she's always done her backstitch in two, but she likes the way it looks in two. So when she found out she was wrong, she actually just kept doing it that way because there is no wrong way to do it. And she liked it better. And I was like, Hmm. So I started doing my back stitching mostly two strands, and I like it better. That does help with some of the back stitching distinguishing. But yes, it does help to find things too when you're stitching. So, whips. Yes, oh, we're going quickly funny because I have about, a meeting tonight. Funny thing about uh, you were talking about back stitching. I I started a new part of my hobby. Well, first I'll show you the finish. This. Is overcompensation guy. Like, seriously, I think the sword's as tall as he is. Mm, this I is think the sword might be taller. RG Epion EW, which stands for Endless Waltz. It's a movie from this specific Gundam series. And as I said, if you look, the stickers just make him look so much cooler. And this giant whip. And then I also did this. The stand it's on. Yes, the stand. So now I can have him floating in the sky because would you believe a really big weapon, another big weapon, and giant angel bat combo wings makes balancing this thing a royal pain in the backside. Shocker. And then I started MG, which is the next grade up. This is actually going to be slightly more complicated. It is the MG Talgis 2EW. And I discovered my, uh, the Gumpla version of Backstitch. Detail work. And how do you do that detail work? Uh, hold on. I'm sorry, I threw him for a loop. Oh no, it just happened. I just happened to put this thing. Uh, it's 
caught a Gumpla marker. Now, I forget the exact name of what this is actually called to do this etching work. I do forget the exact name. It's like a really fine tip. Uh, no, there's a specific name to the technique, and I forget what it is. I understand that. I'm saying it's a really fine tip marker. Yeah, very fine tipped. So fine tips, it can fit through these little grooves. Come on. See if that helps. I'm blocking the light. Get a little closer. I think it's because it's white. Like it almost did it and then it stopped doing it. I know. This is part yeah. of why I'm not looking at the screen, at the camera, because I don't want it to focus on my face. There we go. See how there's black marks in the back? Yes. That's the etching work I'm doing. Fantastic. <sighs> That was fun. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, yeah, that makes the, um, also there's on his head, too. But it just, especially for, like, this white one, it really just makes it stand out a little bit better. Fantastic. All right. And I didn't get any stitching in because the entire time I was doing guild stuff, I was busy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> All right, we will start with Star Touch Meadow Sal. This is the December block. It is holly. I stitched on this for my sal prompt for, what was it, Sunflower Week? Yes, Sunflower Week. It's on 16 Ada. And I did 300 and something odd stitches. There ain't going to be any beginning pictures or stuff like that because I ain't got the time tonight. So it was mostly... Just in here. Sorry, I do not have the time today to do start photos and photos, or start photos and all that extra. Here, and some odd stitches because I didn't actually write it down. Oops. Oh well. And then stitch on a whip. That would take you between 5 and 12 hours to complete. Ornaments are pretty speedy stitches. So I took out Grandpa's tractor, which is a Mill Hill kit, and I finished it with 200 stitches. Um, it was pretty much just putting the beads on. So I put 200 beads on this thing, and I already had some of the beads done. If you know, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, you just said 200 beads and it just hurt my head. Yeah, at least I didn't spill the beads on the floor. Oh, with these carpets. Oh, my God. I did it one night. I know. I helped clean it up. I've done it other times. I know. I cleaned that up, too. So, I did finish that up with another ornament. I will show you here in a minute. We will go to my next three pumps, which is to stitch on a whip of choice and tell us about your favorite flower, to stitch on something... That is inside of something else, and to stitch on something with two items that are facing each other. I do not have a cover photo for this project, so I do apologize. But when you see it, you'll get it, because it's pretty much close to being finished. Of course, I had to do frogging. Oops. Hold on. I can't move the needle minder on this. Um, it says chaotic. Stupid is not in alignment. Please lift up. Okay, there we go. I did 914 stitches on it, which pretty much completed the borders here. These borders. I needed to complete these borders because I only have the outside part done. I did the things up in the corners. And then I started on this guy. I don't know if he's a dragon or a griffin, or I don't really know. All of this is wrong, so it all must be taken out. Project for Laura for Laura for another time. I will probably start um, pulling next week or so. I discovered it right as I was getting done with the last prompt on that list, and I went. 
It was Friday night. I was exhausted already. And then I found I made a mistake and I was pissed. <laughs> So what I finished the 5 to 12 hours prompt with and is my Simply Charming ornament. I started the next Simply Charming ornament, this one right here. And I also stitched on this for the ornament along. I did not finish it this weekend. It's okay. I have time. The month is not over yet. There is no race. I did, so um, it was 109 stitches to finish the 5 to 12 hours one, and then 531 so far on the ornament along, but so far a total of 640 stitches. All I have left to do is the outline, so honestly, there's not that much to do. There really just isn't. It's just kind of how it is. It's just how it worked out this week. It is what it is. Um, that is my whips. I have haul, I just don't know where it is, and I'm not going to go look for it. It's buried in a pile probably over there. Um, somebody donated some charts and a couple of kits to our freebie table um, yesterday after the show, and I pawed through them and took a couple of things, but put them over there and then I promptly buried them and I really don't have the time to go look for them so you'll see them next week. Okay. Plans. What are your plans? Gone plan. I also want to try to get some stitching in. There you go. I'm going to try to start stitching while I'm watching some videos. That way I can try to get some stitching in. Because this, I actually did the stickers on Thursday while I was actually watching Vodka's video. Yeah, you were watching video while I was still over at the library. Oh, did you want to show off your FFO'd since oh. you didn't take it to work piece that was entered in the um, yep. show that your wife's finishing got you not as good of a ribbon as you should have gotten? Hey, honey. How many times do I have to tell you the only thing I was looking for is to get a benchmark for how my skill's doing? Okay. You don't recognize this, right? High voltage. It's my high voltage sign, which I am actually taking to work because there's a test I'm doing actually in the next month that is going to involve high voltage. And I'm doing it a different way, so it actually needs a sign. Well, I got a question for y'all. Do you think there's any better way I could have done the color choices on this? I don't understand. I got told that my color choices were an 8 out of 10 when it's yellow and black because that's the colors of the sign. Does that confuse anybody else? I mean, it really confuses me. My stuff is upstairs, so. Well, we'll have a lot more show tomorrow, next week then. Yeah, this is going to be a short video, and i sorry, but it, it, that's how it is. It's okay. Weeks. I need to get dinner cooked. I need to, well, I need to get dinner cooked, because I have to be over at the church by 7. So, um, I guess let's talk about my plans. So, it's History of Mail Week for Daily 30. So, props. Stitch on your smallest whip. I'm assuming there's only one option for that, and I'm assuming you literally just took, put it away. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I guess an ornament would be my smallest whip. I don't really know what I'm going to do, because I need to finish it. So in order for it to qualify for the ornament along, it has to be finished at, for the ornament along. Which means, technically, can't finish it, because... I know how many stitches are in the border, and that would be less than what I need for the prompt. Did I just make your head hurt? Good. I'm sorry. 
This goes out to anybody in the in the Daily 30 admin team. Can you please not do smallest whip while you have an ornament along going on? Not everybody does the ornament along. Not everybody does the weekly prompts. But my point is, putting the two of them together is kind of interesting, is my point. Okay? Okay. I could probably look at my list and figure out which one's the smallest. Like, Or they... just free pass it. Exactly, I could also free pass it. And I mean, are they really going to go back through and look at all of my whips and figure out if I'm actually showing you my smallest whip for that? Probably not. I know a good tyke is probably one of my smaller ones, so. Okay. Okay. Um, also, there's the free pass, which is probably what's going to happen. Stitch on something where you received part, all or part of the project in the mail. Um, literally most things that I have, because just about everything I get something in the mail for. So, what have I not stitched on? Stamped Heart Succulent, Porch Welcome, Lace Corset, Bell, Leave a Kiss, Quaker Ball, Land of Liberty, or a Good Tech. Porch. Porch. And that's actually a good one, because that was actually mailed to me as a gift. Um... Stitch on something that you can break down into sections. Now, we were discussing this yesterday, Saturday, Saturday, yesterday, in one of my groups. And what does that mean exactly? My interpretation of that means if I could stitch a portion of it by itself, would it look right? So, wouldn't that be like every sampler ever made? So, a sampler, a Quaker... Um, I know there are plenty of Hades where she's made quick stitches out of them. You can, I've seen people trim bits of the Hade off to make their own quick stitch. Um, Most anything made by ink circles. Ink circles, yeah. Because a lot of that stuff, the bigger ones, not the smaller ones, but a lot of the bigger ones, they actually come with patterns that are literally patterns from the stitch, but a smaller part of it, they actually include it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but of what I have not worked on, Porch Welcome, Bell, Leave a Kiss, and Quaker Ball. Porch. Porch Welcome. Okay, and then stitch on something that has something unexpected in it. Leave a Kiss has squirrels on it. Mmm, fuzzy lips. It has squirrels in it. I'm sure I have other things that have... I mean, a snowman with a pirate ship is probably unexpected. But I've already stitched on that. So, you know. And then, stitch on something where you have changed the colors. Um, lace corset and leaf kiss are definitely not the leaf. colors that are called for. You might notice something I did. Yes, you put two and two. So that'll be 800 stitches on each of those projects. Porch Welcome may not get its 800 stitches because that project sometimes drives me a little nuts because the fabric's like crunchy. Uh, well, you know what? Then Lace Corset is a backup. Okay. Because you have two different prompts you can right. save it for and then Lace Corset. I mean, I really do want to get the stitches in on Porch Welcome, but the fabric's <laughs> crunchy, so sometimes it drives me nuts. It's a bit much. Smallest whip. Honestly, if I don't count an ornament, that, that, and that would work. A good tyke, the pirate, the reindeer. Just Probably. do what we got and do a free pass. Save your life. Save your sanity. Save my brain. Because my brain is right now. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. I said it the bump, 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 the, the music after it. How about I encourage you to be yourself? Okay. I got my stamp stuff to make my Christmas cards, but you don't get to see them because I'm sending them to some people that watch our videos. Thanks! <laughs> oh. This is where I'm at today. My glasses are dirty. Um, that's
that's all I got. I know this is a really short video, but um, what do we want the people to do? Gotta go fast. <laughs> Today, it's gotta please be fast. like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, thingy me, Bobby, the whole YouTube spiel. Thank you all so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. And I do mean a little bit because this video is going to be under 30 minutes. Some days are like that. Mm -hmm. Some days we talk a lot. Some days we don't. It is what it is. I don't have a standard for our video length. Um, That'd be yeah. a dumb idea anyway. Our lives change too much from week to week. True story. So we hope you had a good time. We hope you were entertained. Are you not entertained? We hope you come back. <laughs> come on, we're entertaining over here. We are entertaining. You know we're going quick. Okay, thank you guys so much for spending some time with us this week, and we will see you next week. And next week we will not be in. I won't feel so rushed. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.